hey guys welcome to the channel this is alfred so remember last video we were talking about uh, generating our pulse from pin number 10 and uh, reading it from pin number three so essentially whenever the arduino will ask this pin to generate a periodic uh, change in signal and uh, this pin actually reads that um, signal that this guy is generating essentially yeah all right so today we will we'll be looking at counting those um, changes or those signal counting the pulses so let me show you how this works so right now we are uploading it it looks like it's uploaded successfully so now when you monitor the serial port you'll be seeing about a thousand counts every second so this is why it's giving us a thousand counts every second so i am delaying for one second every second i loop so this is in millisecond this delay is in milliseconds so a, a thousand milliseconds is essentially one second so and right here we have this initialize to run um, for 1k um, samples per second so initialize it in a mi microsecond so this is 1k per second so essentially what happens is that you will get a thousand pulse every second so let's monitor the serial port again All right, let's go ahead and cancel out and start it back up you should clear it and start afresh maybe not let's see all right here we go see thousand every second thousand two thousand three thousand four thousand five thousand i mean some error here but i mean this is really nothing compared to what it's doing right now so this is good okay let's see how we did this if you remember from the last video we were able to generate the pulses from this library right so we we were able to initialize the pins then we were able to specify you know our pin output and that we were able to initialize it with the intervals which essentially will give us um, the interval of pulses for this our pwm output so this timer will uh, output uh, based on you know the pin as well as the duty cycle and actually when you specify 512 that's a 50 percent duty cycle i think um the last video i had it 50 percent uh, 50 here instead of um, 512 so that's because uh this it does expect 0 to 1023 so here we go so this is actually the man and this guy is the man code that will um, count the pulse so this is an interrupt um what what is essentially does is that it would initialize um, a, a pain to interrupt uh, the process and prioritize doing this event which is a function and this function is right here it will it will prioritize doing this and uh, it will do it based on what the um, event is so this event is a falling uh, state event so, so essentially it will count it will interrupt whenever this pain goes from low to high and uh, it will count it 
whenever it's going uh, is on the falling edge of the signal hope that makes sense so um, whenever this happens it will trigger this function and what does this function does this function essentially counts our in pin counter in pin counter is a if you go up here in pin counter is an unsigned volatile long in pin counter so it's essentially a very um it's, it's a variable and um, a volatile variable a volatile variable makes it possible to update this variable even inside an interrupt so so that's why we had to use a vol volatile variable it takes a lot more memory but for what we are doing we need it essentially what we are doing here is that we are looping and uh, essentially we are looping every one seconds so we loop here then we delay we wait for a second then we loop again with a second we loop again and what we are printing is the total number of counts so let's see let's use our little body here again the serial plotter and uh, you should be able to see I don't like how it started so let's go ahead and cancel out and open it back up so I'm gonna reset it on the hardware then here we go it's a line chart so it's essentially showing every single count and the the count is really high so that's a thousand a thousand count every second so it's essentially showing a thousand two thousand three thousand four thousand and on and on and on and on so it's just going up and up and up so that's that's it and i hope this was helpful i believe our next video i will uh, use something new on the channel i will use a c sharp program and then we will be able to do some cool um, stuff like um, displaying the count, like uh, showing it in um, showing it in a graph that we can control better instead of this plotter here. We, we should be able to show it on a graph that we can um, control better, dictate what it what it does, and you know give it some title give it some um, do some calculation if needed you know just basically be able to play with our program a little bit more and i will talk to you later bye bye